How you doing, everybody? Good evening. Welcome to the Late Night Show with me, your host, Sandy Freud. We have a guest appearance tonight with Yaakov Gruber. Ladies and gentlemen, Yaakov Gruber. Hey, I'm, I'm a huge fan. Yaakov, I hear there's been instigations against you about selling iron pipe. Is this true? No, I, I didn't do anything. Would you care to explain? Um, the, the rabbis have some proof that I stole an iPod, but really, I, they must be referring to a, a text um, that I sent. Uh, this text was to who? To a kid in my school, but, there was, but it, wasn't, it wasn't about um, selling him anything. What did it say? It said... Um, I, I have a certain iPod, uh, I'm just advertising. Mm -hmm. Well, we just got it in the email last night. Uh, did John pull that up? Yeah, he got it. Okay. We got an email last night okay. sent from the MKY office. It's a video. iPhone um, from AT&T. Look, it's got crazy speeds and it's insanely fast. Check this out. Well, let me check. Wow, this is fast. I've always wanted this. How much do you want for this? Uh, uh, three, 300. Done. I've always wanted this. Well. Make, make sure the make sure rabbis don't find out about this. I Trust me. Stuff. No one's finding out about this. No, it wasn't me. What wasn't you? No, the person, the, that guy in the video wasn't me. I just saw, that was you. They edited it. They used the uh, Algo, these Photoshop or something to change it. It wasn't that me. It was you. I would know if it was me. I'm telling you that they got the proof all wrong. Danny, what do you have to say about this? I don't know, Guba. I don't know. They have evidence against you. Nothing you say about this? Oh, okay. There's nothing you can say. Yes. Look. I, I'm tough. You think it's me? I saw it was you. It looks like me, but you could do anything nowadays, you know? Whatever. Hi. Let's um, go to commercial. Let's give you a break. Hi. <laughs> they will be great. Hey. Hey, you want to race? <laughs> Brand new 2012 Chevy Venture. Now, on to our fan question segment. Jakob, a bunch of people have been uh, calling in to ask you questions about your incident. Um, let's start with Yisrael from Queens. Will the inability of selling in iPods impede on selling alcoholic beverages? How do you know? I, I, don't, I don't sell alcoholic beverages. I don't know what you're talking about. Next question. Buddha from Muncie. Uh, did this whole incident affect the good terms you had with Rabbi Edinger? <coughs> okay. Disregard that question. Avi from New York. Do you believe that Rabbi Edinger has been tr truthful to you the entire lapse of your absence of school? No comment. I'd rather not say this on public television in case he's watching it on his TV. Can you tell me part of it? Um... <laughs> okay! Question number five. Yako from Brooklyn. Okay. Um, thank you, Yako. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay, come on, guys. Let's do this. Enough. Oh my gosh!